Hey everyone, it's Anne here from English Valley Cafe. I'm going to answer a question that I got from one of the viewers here asking if there's a difference in the pronunciation between these two words here. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, so the first word here, up here, we're going to use the schwa sound to pronounce that vowel sound. So it's going to be of, of. So that vowel sound is going to be a lazy schwa sound. So if you remember from our previous video where we talked about the schwa sound, um, in case you missed it, I'll leave the link down in the description below. But it's a very lazy, uh, it'll be lax sound. Okay, so you're going to make that uh, uh, uh sound. Okay, so it's of. And then this one up here, we're going to pronounce it with a ah, uh, ah. Uh, so it's off off okay so up here this one is of and then this one up here is off so with this one your um, mouth is not as wide open okay? and like i said it's a relaxed uh, lazy sound so it's gonna be uh uh and notice the shape of my mouth is not wide open uh of of and then this one up here is off, off. I'm going to open my mouth wide. Off, off. Okay, so of, off, of, off. Now let's try in a sentence here. Think of a word. Think of a word. So think of, think of a word. Turn off the light. Turn off the light turn off the light so now you know there is a difference in the pronunciation between these two words now be sure to check out the uh, video about schwa sound if you haven't because that's a very important um, sound and it's a very common sound in american english where there's a lot of words that uses the uh, lazy relaxed schwa sound and it'll help you to sound more natural when you're speaking english also, make sure you check out the video where I talked about how to uh, pronounce to, a, of, like these unimportant words in a sentence and how to pronounce them so that it'll help you make your English sound more natural. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video. Take care.